we are going to talk about the calendar, we are going to go over the weather, and we are going to read a story together. Are you ready? Let's start. Today, can you tell me what today is? Good job, everyone. That's right. Today is Friday. Good work. And what about the date? What's the date today? Yeah, that's right. Today is the 5th. It's Friday the 5th. Nice job, friends. And what about the month? Do you know what month it is? Yep, that's right. The month is June. Good work, everyone. And the year, can you tell me what year it is? Good work, friends. The year is 2020. Now, let's put it all together. Today is Friday, June 5th, 2020. Nice work, everyone. If today is Friday, what was yesterday? Yeah, that's right. Yesterday was Thursday. Good job, everyone. If today is Friday and yesterday was Thursday, what is tomorrow? That's right, good job. Tomorrow is Saturday. Good work, everyone. Today is Friday, tomorrow is Thursday, or yesterday was Thursday, and tomorrow is Saturday. Good job. Can you tell me the day again? Remember, put it all together. Good job, everyone. Today is Friday, June 5th, 2020. Good work. Now, let's go to Casey, and she can tell us about the weather today. Hi, guys. Happy Friday. Today, we are going to look at the weather for Friday, June 5th, 2020. Looking at our calendar for the week, we can see that on Friday, June 5th, it's going to be 88 degrees and sunny. That means it's going to be really hot outside. Today, we are going to watch Peppa Pig in the very hot day. Very hot day. The sun is shining. It is a very hot day. What a lovely hot day. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their boots. They are going to jump in muddy puddles. I love muddy puddles. Oh. Oh dear. The sun is so hot that the puddles have dried up. Mummy, Daddy, the puddles are all dry and we can't jump in them. Never mind, Pepper. It's so sunny, you can play in the paddling pool instead. Yes, the paddling pool! <laughs> First, you have to change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Mummy! <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their swimming costumes. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. And Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Because it's so hot, you need sun cream. And yucky. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a fuss about nothing. Yes, we all need sun cream today. Oh. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Let's get some air into this paddling pool. Daddy Pig is pumping up the paddling pool. <laughs> Easy as pie. <laughs> Pepper holds the hose. And Mummy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? Peppa and 
George loved their paddling pool. <laughs> ice cream! Ice cream! Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady! <laughs> Ice cream! On very hot days, Miss Rabbit sells ice cream. Mummy, Daddy, can George and I have an ice cream, please? Oh, well, I suppose it is an especially hot day. Hooray! <laughs> please, can I have one as well? Everyone likes ice cream. Hello, Mummy Pig, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. What ice creams would you like? Can I have a cone, please, Miss Rabbit? Of course you may, Pepper. Thank you. The same for me, and one for Daddy Pig, please. And what would young Mr George like? Dinosaur! A dinosaur? Silly George. He always says dinosaur for everything. Well, it just so happens that I do have a dinosaur-shaped ice lolly. <laughs> dinosaur! Grrr. George, you should eat your ice lolly before it melts. Dinosaur. George loves his dinosaur ice lolly so much he doesn't want to eat it. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Enjoy the weather. <laughs> George, I really think you should eat your ice lolly before it melts and falls on the ground. Oh dear, George's dinosaur ice lolly has melted and fallen on the ground. Never mind, George. You can share Daddy's ice cream. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> It is so warm, Daddy Pig has fallen asleep. Daddy Pig does look hot. Let's tip water on Daddy to cool him down. Good idea, Peppa. <laughs> what happened? You were all red and hot, Daddy Pig. So we tip water on you. Oh, I see. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> look, the puzzles are back. Quick, George, let's get our boots. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their boots. <laughs> Pepper and George love the hot day, but most of all, they love jumping up and down in puddles. <laughs> <laughs>
The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish! They would call. Come and play with us! But the rainbow fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish! He called. Wait for me! Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many! You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me! Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shining scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Hmm, only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. <gasps> thank you! Thank you very much! The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come, Come on, rainbow, rainbow fish! They called. Come and play with us! Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Ray 
Hey friends, did you have fun hanging out with Rainbow Fish? All right, now we are going to look at our very own Rainbow Fish. Rainbow Fish, Rainbow Fish, swimming in the sea. Will you please share a scale with me? Would you share a scale with Rainbow Fish? Do you think he'd share a scale with you? It's a really good idea that we can talk about sharing and how it makes our friends happy. Sharing makes us happy and I want you to color in rainbow fish. What do you think you could share with your friends? Would you share a scale like rainbow fish? Or maybe you'd share one of your favorite toys. How does sharing make you feel? I want you to tell me how it makes you feel and what you would share with your friends. All right, I can't wait to hear about everything that you shared with all of your friends and family. I will see you next time. Bye friends.